All right, so let's talk about this um, this story. How many of you are familiar with uh, La Truth, the La Truth gang? Actually, I wasn't too familiar with them. I'm actually, from those videos, I'm able to pick up a little bit. But I think they were influencers, online influencers, married this guy and the wife. This is Tasha K. Tasha K did an interview that I caught up with earlier. And I saw a few parts. I didn't watch the whole thing. I saw a few part of the clips and I was like, ah, this is going to be a fantastic lesson to pull out for both men and women. All right. Uh, good evening to you, Chinya. Good evening. Right. This is going to be a fantastic lesson you know so i've got a few videos here let me pull them up to the screen about uh, one two three four let me pull this the third okay. question uh and then let's go through it let's dissect this together and uh you will see uh, a reflection image of what's going on with a lot of modern times relationship okay myself i'm a subject to this okay I'm, I'm also a character in this what you're about to watch okay it's a struggle I, I can't lie to you i have to be honest with you okay uh this is something that we all struggle with okay um sometimes when we're looking at the results of this bad behavior on the extreme end of it you're like oh that could never be me no it could in fact that particular mindset is exactly why it's going to be you so the only thing I want you to be aware of is I want you to be aware of these behaviors, all of us. Also be aware that it could be any one of us, okay? And when you're aware, half the battle is won. And that's why I pull this kind of stuff to the stage. All right, so let's go through the first video. It's about four short clips. And then I'll tell you what I want you to hear in it. Shout out to Tasha K for these videos. Uh, all right, so let's go. To, let's get into it. You made a choice because everything that you do, you made a choice to do. You made a choice to do it. It was not her fault. Hey, hey, I'm not going to sit here and say nobody put a gun to my head, made me get married. Did nobody put a gun to my head for me to take the back seat and push her forward? Stop. No, no, Stop. no, no. So you're doing that again. This, this That's very of, condescending. Oh, no, this is out of me. Let's see what we can find about this guy online because I think it would be, be important to have a oh family la truth let me see if we can find some kind of basic information somewhere because i think it will be it might be useful for us if not then i will just do tell you a little bit about you know that's just a little bit that i know you know all right so i think i found the nice link here let me pull it to the screen yeah very very important to know the backstory we can't know it all but just as much as we can right all right so mrs la truth divorce is it true or just a rumor let's see what we know the news that mrs la truth is getting a divorce has been making the rounds in town for several weeks is it real or merely a rumor we know the real story including what it means for mrs la truth and her family who is mrs la truth and her husband the well-known socialite mrs la truth has been jesus english uh, has been wed to her husband for a long time. She is renowned for leading an opulent lifestyle and enjoying social events. There have recently been rumors that Miss Latruth might be divorcing. Uh, many people are curious about identity. Work was born in the United Kingdom. Okay, this okay. This is them. Okay, that's them. I guess that's a family, right? So they actually have children. Okay, the husband of Miss Latruth is a multi-business successful entrepreneur. Uh, Mrs. Latruth marriage may have been having problems according to room. Okay, so there's some situation with her calling the cop on him, calling the police on him, right? And uh, that's what we know. I don't think we need to know much more than that. So let's get back to the video, okay? Let's get back to the video. Karen, I see a lot of women say, how can she make a man do... When y'all don't understand when a man truly love a woman, man. A lot just because of, you're I, not in a, we just put because you, you. All right. So basically, she called him out for being condescending. Okay. Let me play that. What is condescending? That I'm gonna point out what's condescending, especially for gentlemen here that may be listening. Okay. Hey, Ice Ice. Good to see you, Ice Ice. Good to see you. 
Um, I'm not gonna sit here and say. So you notice he said, "I'm not gonna sit here and say you think he's about to admit to something, but not really, not really, right? That's the condescension part, right? Not really. He's about to try to twist the words around and make it make another point, make it as a comeback by acting like he's actually agreeing. That's condescending, right? But it's a natural behavior. But when you are aware of it, you slow down with this behavior. We all do it, okay? Ain't nobody put a gun to my head, made me get married. Don't nobody put a gun to my head. Don't nobody put a, you know what, in my head, make me get married, right? Okay. My head for me to take the back seat and push her forward. Okay, that part, for me to take that back seat and push her forward, that's manipulation. Okay, he's trying to manipulate the, the, the narrative is trying to paint a picture by going in, by using a fake ass reverse psychology. Okay, it doesn't work, especially women will catch you very quickly on that because women feel they feel, like even though you're trying to use that as a reverse logic of some sort, the feelings that's negative about that is what they will pick up, and that's what Tasha K picked up. Let's keep going. Uh, no, 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 no. So you're doing that again. This, this that's very she caught that. And the, what makes this very complicated is that he's authentically now realizing that he got caught in whatever he was trying, whatever he was trying to do in that moment in time. Oh no, this is out of me caring. See, it's a lot, I see a lot of women say, "This is out of me caring." Listen, if you do care and the other person doesn't feel like you care, the truth is that they don't feel like you care, gentlemen. Listen, I'm not questioning that you care. What I'm saying is that if the other person doesn't feel like you care, what matters is the fact that they don't feel like you care. What actually matters in reality is that they don't feel like you care. Because how they feel is what's going to determine their next action, their next behavior, which becomes part of your problems. Okay? So let's keep going. How can she make a man do... When Y'all don't understand when a man truly love a woman, man. A lot just because of, you're like, not in a, we just put because you, you first now, no. like all the tears and yeah, I mean I can't speak for every other man. I can just speak for me. The tears and all of that. I don't even like to see my wife frowning. Like I'm coming. Now, lady, that's a fact, right? And I said that earlier, gentlemen. Even if you care, what matters is that if he doesn't feel like you care, that's all that matters. So you have to reassess how you're moving. What is it that's making her not feel like you care? Right? You have to reassess that without beating yourself up. Because you will end up beating yourself up if you're like, but I care, but I care, but I care. Uh, and if, th if that's shown in your behavior, she's, she will feel worse. And the reality is that how she feels is what she will reciprocate. She will multiply that and, you know. So this is a lot of work for men. This is, this is a very hard thing for men to do. It's very, very hard. Because he's stuck on the fact that he actually cares okay now i could also make another a, a, a argument that he actually doesn't care he cares about how he feels okay i can also make that argument oh forget me your wife will make that argument that you don't care <laughs> because how she feels and you especially not being able to calm down and realize that she doesn't feel that it's an indication that maybe you actually don't care. And then she's frowning because I'm about to go do some work. I'm, I see them frowns like, baby, what's supposed to be you good? No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm okay, but you're mad. Like, I like this. Now the woman would tell you I'm good, I'm good, but she's not good. What do you do? Well, you have to be a, a honorable person, okay? If you have work to go do, you go do that work. That's you understanding that you're trusting that everyone is not going to fall out of his place if you go do that work and you come back. Not only that, you're giving her space to process, you're giving her time to process, and there's an extremely good chance that she will feel better when she comes back and she'll be more open to have a conversation with you. But what most men do is they try to have that conversation or they try to force you to feel good in that moment. How do I know? Because I was that guy, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Let's keep going. See that smile. 
and it'll make me sit the fuck down. Like, ah, oh, man, I just, I may do that later. But that's like, a perfect <laughs> world. But that's living in a perfect but, world, and that's not living in reality. Mom, not everybody's gonna smile all the time. Not everybody's always sad all the time. Well, but if she's more sad than none, and you knew that before you got cancer, then that should have been addressed. All right, so one of the issues with this family is there was a sickness in the family. Sickness would take a toll on the relationship by default okay so he had cancer okay so in his head he's probably also thinking like since i i went through this you're supposed to understand better yeah well sorry not necessarily okay not necessarily okay but let's keep going yes. it's only because it made it worse when you got sick no I, I, it, it was addressed i said look i need you to smile like even people the, just don't smile because you say smile. Well, she if you pay attention to Tasha K, women do this a lot. She's now starting to relate with the lady. Oh, by the way, according to Tasha K, she dragged the lady earlier for putting her business out on the streets. But women are loyal from a feeling standpoint, okay? They can connect with each other and empathize with each other. When you see people say, I'm an empath. That's what that means, okay? They can connect with the feelings. That's why they will believe every story that comes from each other without assessing it. That's normal behavior. There's nothing wrong with it, okay? So if you're having this conversation with a woman, right, and you're still trying to convince her that I try to, she can relate with the woman more naturally, right? And she gets it, but he's having a hard time getting it. He's having a very, very hard time. And I understand why he has, he's having a hard time getting it. He's a man. Okay. Does smile though, you know, when she's around but, her friend. But is it a real smile? She's smiling when she's around her friends, but I want her to smile by force when I'm around. Okay, good luck. Smile, or is it something that she's using to cope with what's going on at the moment? But, but a true smile in every teeth. I get to see every tooth. That's that's unrealistic. Come on now, like you asking you asking somebody to pretend. That's not reality. No, I'm telling you what I, I see. I'm not. I'm, they don't ask her to smile. Smile for me. No, 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 no. Like, it's, and it's like. So, so it's unreal. It's true that it's unrealistic to ask the person that doesn't want to smile to smile for you, especially if they're your wife, meaning the person you do carry well with in bed. You know, there's all kind of uh, factors, right? Like the sea finish. Like, what are you talking about? Like resentment she might have, right? And if she's in a, if my, if my wife is a little moody, and I say, and there's nothing going on, and if I say smile for me, she will smile for me. She'll give me a little quick fix smile. She said, I'm okay, baby. And she said, and I said, you know, I'll feel good because there's nothing on the line going on, right? But if there's actual things going on and I'm trying to force her to smile and she's having a hard time smile, a gentleman, you're needed to be a little bit stronger. You need to understand there's a real reason. It's not just wake up one day, she doesn't want to smile because she's evil. No, there's a real reason and it's probably going to take you time to find out what that is. So if you're not a patient person, you're going to run into problems all the time. Meaning, she might not be able to tell you why she can't smile right now. Okay? Keep that at the back of your mind. I said, it's vice versa, man. Everybody not going to be happy. Like, it's so many marriages. Okay, so did you hear what he just said? He said, it's vice versa, man. Now he's in the competition. If you play competition with your lady, you can collect with the Wuto as well, too, right? Yeah. Don't play competition with your woman. Don't do that. I, I, like even in the slightest manner, even in the most remote, smallest manner, things like ah, the same thing is true, vice versa. You say things like that, it's coming from a place, from a mindset. There's a good chance that one, how you do that is how you do everything else. You're playing competition. That means when you're supposed to be a bigger person, you're just like, why do I gotta be the bigger person all the time? Oh uh, my nigga, because you're the leader, maybe. No, I don't want to be no stupid leader. Okay, why are you in a marriage? Uh, this hierarchy in marriage that, uh, sorry okay there is okay and that means there's sometimes particularly when there's crisis there's work that you need on your part you could be the woman or the man if there's crisis and you're the one that can complain that means you can also assess being the bigger person at least temporarily right especially if you're a man because it could be a woman too. A woman needs to step it up sometimes. If you're able to complain, you can also ascend your role a little bit and say, hey, maybe this person can't see what I can't see, right? 
you can lead out of that funk. It's just not sustainable that you're doing it all the time. But it's absolutely sustainable when a man, because a man has more than enough to process and say, this is just my role as a leader, right? No. Like, and it's like I said, it's vice versa, man. Everybody not It's not play. vice versa. Like, it's so many men. This particular thing that Tasha K is trying to tell him that he's not able to comprehend, it's not vice versa. If it's vice versa, you, it's like no wonder why your marriage fell apart. Okay? And I get it. Sometimes you just feel like it's not fair. It's not fair. Okay, again, you're playing the fairness game. It's not a competition. <laughs> it's not. Okay? And uh, you're better off being alone. If you want to play the fair game, it's absolutely fair in the world. You get to live in the cave. You don't, you don't have a wife. You don't have to answer to your children. You chose to be a deadbeat, whatever you want to call it. The worst you can think of, right? But in terms of in your marriage, if what you're looking at is fairness, it's not like anything is wrong with the word fairness. It's about everything else that that mindset drives. You're actually working against fairness, okay? In the actual sense of it, by putting too much focus on that, as opposed to focus on something is happening where can i give you're right if you have to do that all the time it's going to be tired you're absolutely right but again this is just a feeling right maybe your spouse is feeling that way too and if you're the man and your wife is feeling that way too and you're feeling that way when everything else fails guess what has to happen what has to happen is you have to be a leader why because you're the leader of the family or maybe not. All right. Marriage is going on out here. Everybody not happy. It's if you gonna make the shit work or not. And I and I tried six years. Yeah, that's unrealistic. So you preach that at your woman. You gonna make it work or you know it's unrealistic. Should it be that way? You're right. Should fantasies. Is it often not that way? Yes. On both sides, a lot of times you're going to feel like everyone should want to make the marriage work. You have you have a lady say sometimes like, well, we need both people to want to make it work. In reality somebody's always leading it could be moment by moment it could be overall someone is leading it could, if you in the kitchen someone is leading when we go out we're in a social gathering someone is leading and so it's a, you're complimenting each other it's not the same thing as playing equal or competing with each other you're complimenting each other meaning sometimes somebody is low on energy you're ready to lift them up without playing competition with them but granted, sometimes, because you feel like it's not fair, you want to play competition. But I'm telling you that that's what perpetuates the problem. Especially if it's the man playing competition. <laughs> it's just bad. The result is bad. So what do we do then? Decide if you want to be a leader or not. It's a decision. No, we should hold this woman accountable. Uh, I'm not against that too, but best of luck to you. Okay. I'd rather hold myself accountable in the situation I find myself because it puts me in a better place of control, right? Where I can, I'm never in control, remember? But at least I, I, I know I can control myself. Self-control is a better point of leverage for you. Uh, try to control other human beings. Good luck. Get it. And I'm alive. Like, I'm surprised I'm here. Okay, well, listen. Um... I'm very surprised that I'm here. All right, so y'all can go on over and check out this interview because I, I feel that me and you just gonna have to agree to disagree. I respect what you do. I think you're an amazing artist. Um, I, I think you really you really changed uh, the create the game of creators. There's really not nobody out here that don't know you. You know what I'm saying? But like, it's really is. All right, let me go to, on to the next one. I didn't even ask him do to. You know why? I didn't ask him to. He surprised me with that. Do you know? Do you know why? You know? I because I am a human being. No, Creator no. It's in the background. That's it. What? No. No. Listen, we are two. So what she was doing? She was giving an example of her husband took her to Africa or something like that, and remarried her after seventeen years. She's trying to paint a picture of an example, you know. But let me tell you something, ladies. Comparing a man to another man generally doesn't work, especially if he hasn't hit rock bottom yet. Okay, it doesn't work. He will just be busy trying to prove himself, and that's what you see is going on. Even though she means well, never compare. For those of you in the marriage, don't ever remotely, slightly, slowly, 
intention unintentionally which i know you're not intentional about it but be aware if he feels like you're comparing him to somebody else he will get caught up in his emotions okay he will engage his feminine energy more that's not what you want obviously <laughs> he'll be trying to prove himself he will engage shalaye and you know if you know anything about this platform shalaye is a bastard okay you know they work either so it's it's conflict everywhere you know me and her both are masculine as hell she wants to be the oh it's no wonder you can't have two masculine energy in the same place that's not going to be sexual polarity leader she, she wants to be king. do you know do you know how physically exhausted it is to be with now he didn't talk about what created what would make a typical woman i don't know her but typical women are generally not masculine, okay? Then also depends on how you're measuring masculinity. Masculinity is not doesn't live in a vacuum. You have to measure against the other society around them. You can't just measure somebody that lives in America against a woman who lives in Brazil and say they're masculine. That's stupid. You have to measure it within context, okay? So if you understand that, if she's masculine, what is making a typical woman becoming masculine as long as you're assessing that within context what is it that's making that happen because she doesn't feel safe she doesn't feel secure she feels the need to protect herself you need to understand those things it, it, and it's natural order of things if she feels the need to protect herself she will do exactly that is that your fault no it's not a matter of fault right should you as a man in a marriage take responsibility and see if you can help align things properly so you can create sexual polarity maybe are you the leader maybe is it difficult yes anything i say on this platform is easier said than done <laughs> but you married her which means there was some kind of polarity in the first place you lost it and then it's time to rebuild things or build a new structure or foundation but that's too hard is it if it's too hard they will confess because that doesn't make you not be a man it actually makes you a man and say hey that's hard i can learn a skill or two to learn how to do that because it's doable if you don't do it another man will do it another man may end up blowing her back out for you well she's just ready to move on well you're right too you get to be right what happened i haven't played my sound effects today oh, I, I i i i you're right you get to be right all the time but you also get to face your results in the mirror all by yourself somebody that's in the limelight do you know see a lot of people we like to diminish what what people do that are behind that are behind the people that are in the limelight my husband takes a lot of shit. he sees me go through a lot of shit. emotionally it could be I'm so worried about me that sometimes I could probably forget about him, right? But because I take time for myself, I do therapy, I do meditation, I'm always reading self-help books. I'm so Tasha K is a, as a, as a creator with over a million subscribers. There's a lot, that's, that eats up your energy. Especially if you're supposed to be somebody's wife. Do you think she's not masculine sometimes? Do you think she's, it's not gonna, do you think it's not gonna spread over into a marriage? Cause she feels the need to protect herself from a million monitoring spirits she knows exactly what she's talking about she definitely needs therapy uh it's not okay therapy sounds like a curse word it just means support okay because we're all human beings right so what is the support like support sometimes is in the form of your husband your husband also needs help because it's probably draining for him sometimes but somehow they ended up in a place 70 years later. He said, I want to marry you again. Clearly, she knows what the hell she's talking about. But one of the things with people that have a lot of strong um, opinions around these topics, like I said, if they don't hit rock bottom, they, they can't listen. Uh, also, anyway, let's, let's watch this. Do you see part. how both of us... Benita. It, for him, it may not be a problem, but for me, it will be a problem because of the energy. Do you that see part? how both of us right now are drained energy? Like energy. So she's making a point that if you're couples, somebody needs to be forward and somebody needs to be behind the scenes. It helps you balance things up a little bit, right? Again, remember polarity. Polarity is always a thing. If you're the kind of person you're socialite 
you're probably better off with a person who is a little bit laid back who they are not really a social person they don't mind stepping out with you but you need to understand that maybe they're not like you that's actually what some of the things that create the glue between the two of you what is it that you hear a lot of people talk about today compatibility and what they mean is that we're equally like no there's no that's not you can't compliment each other if you're equal <laughs> Either we're talking about in the form of hierarchy in the marriage or in terms of temperament or personality, you need you need differences. Okay? That's what creates the polarity. Right? You don't want a person that's exactly like you. That's not what you want. Right? That's what she's talking about. She made a good point there. So why is it that we do Lola and Ola a little bit slower and I a little bit more aggressive here? Because I can be on the forefront and then she comes once in a while, you know. Shokilo Beoge it creates the glue because I bring her up when I need her to relate with the ladies and you know it doesn't seem I'm coming out of my ass like with my talking points like a lot of people in this spaces right this is real life stuff that we leave there are times that we struggle to agree that the majority of the time we are agreeing but you know what you tend to remember the most those small moments of disagreeability right the human brain remembers the negative more so we have to be aware of that so when we catch ourselves we're both aware of that like let's not worry about that let's what else can, can we go eat let's go eat out something let's go do something fun because we now know for a fact from experience that that's the devil using that small moment to try to destroy destroy us right Guys, like you were creating i'm a creator and i'm already drained 45 minutes on here talking to you and that's me and her that's, that's a that's a fact now is she right or is he right right because he's making a point oh, I, I i i i you're right they are both right but you know what's actually much more right <laughs> the feelings she feels like she's drained from talking to you so if somebody's having a conversation with you on live ig and they're already feeling drained how much more of the wife you're married to is your wife wrong? She shouldn't feel drained. She shouldn't feel drained, right? I, 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 you're right. You're right. But your reality is that she feel drained. Do you think you should reassess something? Maybe? Yes? Just nod your head. Just do like this. Yeah. There's something you don't know. When you're confused, it's time to learn something new. It's not about being right or wrong. There's no paycheck on Friday. The only person getting paid here is Bobby Tasha K. <laughs> and she's still engaged in the emotions, right? So that's the reason why I said you would be the same way. This is her talking to me as well. It's okay, our, exactly. So that's what I'm saying. False. I know why she feels the way that she feels. She made, because she is... No, no. She made, he says she made me, and I'm the one that had the 6 million followers. She tells... It doesn't matter. So women, women were yes throw the sign language shame insult guilt and, and you know the need to be right they will do that naturally when they don't feel safe it's just a reality no but that should stop no 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 the only person that can ask anyone to stop that is the person running the show on youtube kevin samuels you as the husbands you don't get to stop that you attract sign language as much as you deserve it especially if she says i made you and you take that so seriously and you don't know how to like you made me okay no so i should just shut up whenever she talks but it's a lie okay good luck arguing that out if you really think it's a lie and it's the truth why do you feel the need to argue that out by force right now why do you feel the need to prove that if it's truly do you think you need to help the truth you don't have to help the truth the truth is undefeated you can go 20 years be Yoruba, people said, right? Tiroba Lolo Godu, one day. Oto Maba. If the lie is going for 20 years, one day the truth will catch up. Why do you feel if you have to help the truth? It's probably not the truth. It's probably you getting caught up in your feelings, maybe. Hmm. So tells me that she made me. This is the conversation that we're having. That that just sounds forward. like that just sounds like somebody just calling you a bitch. That that's like a class. That's, that's like a your mama joke. I, you, you that's, that's it. The truth. I think Gentlemen, if she calls you out of your name, the issue is not what you're dealing with in that moment. You're probably already in too deep into that conversation. You need to grab your keys and leave. You've lost respect. 
you're not gonna gain you're not gonna forcefully pull that respect out of her it's not going to happen i'm telling you it's gonna happen gonna work the only way in fact if you want right now in this moment you can gain a little extra respect back how do you do that grab your keys and and and, and act like you don't need validation in that moment walk away okay and mean it okay you have to be willing to walk away and mean it is literally your strongest position your strongest position of negotiations yes there's always negotiation why do i have to negotiate with my wife hey you're a grown man welcome to reality sometimes you have to negotiate your your respect how do you get your respect back be willing to walk away and mean it it doesn't have to be a permanent decision it could just be for the moment you learn you know how to back off off of a heated emotional situation where no one is being logical yes you too you're not being logical because how did you how did you lose your respect you sat down in there and you lost all your respect can we talk about that part oh no we should hold her accountable yeah that's not gonna hmm. need them and do it yourself how sweet I think it bothers you. It's like a, a ego thing, or you so, trying to prove yourself or validate yourself. Like you know she didn't make you. You know she. If you know, that means you don't. You don't trust yourself. You don't trust that she didn't make you. That's why you're sitting there to argue that. And if you don't trust that she didn't make you, maybe she's right. Cause how are you counting it? Six million followers. That's how you're counting if she made you or not. What about the support system that you have at home? That makes you go do what you do best. Maybe that's what she's alluding to. Just maybe, right? No, but I got to prove to her that she didn't make me. Oh, well, you shouldn't be in a marriage if that's how you think. Because that's not going to work. It's simply... But it's not fair. Welcome to the real world. Like, you know she didn't you trying to prove yourself or validate yourself like you know she didn't make you you know she didn't give you no career so why does it bother he doesn't know that he doesn't trust himself he doesn't he, he doesn't believe that himself that he made himself he doesn't believe that he's self-made so he has the need to be right he's engaged with his feminine energy oh it's no wonder why she doesn't feel safe why she's acting all masculine so it's your fault? Well, if you want to call it that, knock yourself out. I'm telling you the result you're creating is your doing when it comes to romantic relationships. If you told me somebody laid hands on you, you would be right. No, that person should go to jail, at least for one night. But if we're talking about emotional matters, emotionalism, emotional blackmail, you're responsible for how you respond to that. I'm sorry you are responsible for how you respond to that you're responsible for your reactions especially if you're a man thank you so much that she says that it doesn't, but even I'm, though you know it's not true why don't she say it that's what i'm saying i don't it, I, it don't bother me i'm cool i'm like okay you made me all right that's what i say when she said i be like all right you made me you that don't bother me bitch pussies all that i'm like yo why are you talking to me like that all right, so let's push back against myself a little bit. Yes, it bothers all of us. The whole point of the need for self-control, the whole point of me always telling you, yes, it's easier said than done is because it's going to be hard. Like, if anybody calls you a bitch, that's going to affect you. I don't care how masculine you are. You're going to lose your masculine frame for a second. So it affected you, obviously. And you not being able to admit to that is feminine behavior. Yes, men can be emotional. We're human beings. Okay? So that's all cap. Stop like the, the cap. <laughs> you remind me of somebody that I just cut loose. You do. You're you're very self-absorbed and you're not gonna have you're not gonna have any healthy relationships going forward if you listen, if you say I'm you think I'm self-absorbed, tell me more, tell me more. Does that make you soft if you do that in that moment in time? No, it takes a lot of strength to do that. Because you being selfless or try to protect yourself is actually a natural thing. That's the whole point of its work, okay? That's the whole point of it's, it's hard. But if you do it, it's highly rewarding if you can practice how to do this. It's, it's great rewards to it, right? You will lead the rest of the world if you're able to control, have some self-control like that, right? Hmm, interesting. You think I'm self-absorbed? Tell me more. What do you mean? 
the person will feel safe to tell you a little bit more. And yes, it will get a little bit harder for a second before it gets easier. They'll tell you what they can see. That becomes ammunition for you to lead the situation. But let's see if he's able to do that. You don't know how to, if you don't know how to balance that, if you don't know how to turn it on and turn it off. Being a creator oh, is a very really good, there's a very good book that I, I read. It's called The War of Art. I write, I read it all. The Shimmy The Heart of War. The Shimmy The Heart of War. That's a good book. Actually, I've never read it. I've read the other books in the series, like The Heart of Seduction, The 48 Laws of Power. I definitely need to read The Heart of War. I have an idea what's in it. This, is that what she means by Robo Green? Or is there actually a book called The War of Hearts? The time. And it helps you to balance creatorship, which means scheduling, creating a schedule as a creator. Like, a lot of times we think we're creating around the clock, but we're not because I get time. Yeah. Anyway, that's the La Truth family husband. He got thrown out. He got called the cops. They called the cops on him. His family has... They've dragged themselves through the mud. I don't know the full story. I'm sure, I'm sure some of you will tell me in the comments. But this is a few short clips that I saw. And it basically gave him away. And it's no wonder why he lost his family. You know, at least temporarily. Anyone can get their family back. Really, all it takes is a change behavior and consistency. That's really all it takes. And guess what? Those things are very difficult. Not especially if you feel like you're right. Oh, I, 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 you're right. You're always right, but I have a few more stories to cover. Let's get into it.